I'll never forget the day that I was diagnosed and I went down to the yard and I sat in the barn and he was laid across my legs for about two hours with his head on my knee and you know when you're just like, you know something's going on. <laughs> I had cancer. How old am I now? 29, so 27. I uh, was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, and it was stage three, aggressive, triple negative. <laughs> um, and it just appeared out of nowhere. Um, and I'd kind of just got your nice, good job and just got your first house and just done all of that. And then it all changes in like, yeah, within like 24 hours. Um, so I had him at that point and he was a massive part of my recovery, if you like and it started making me realise how much, one, they pick up and interact with you, and two, how incredible it is to be in a place where there's no judgement and no barriers to that. And yeah, he, he was absolutely lovely, and he is a stubborn old bugger, and it meant that I was a stubborn old bugger. So it meant that um, I didn't sort of feel sorry for myself or anything like that. Don't do pity parties. Anyone that comes here will never get a pity party. Don't do that at all. Um, but what I started to realise is actually when, when I had chemo and all my hair came out um, and when you have operations and they chop body parts off, actually they don't change how they react to you at all. Um, it made me realise how much of a significant impact having horses in your life can have in recovering from illness because they don't see the labels. So whatever label that is, whether that's cancer or mental health or um, autism or whatever, they don't see that. They sense what's inside and it gives a person an opportunity finally to work on them as opposed to whatever the label is that they've been given. Spirit and Soul, what is it? We class it as an equine assisted activity centre, so we run equine assisted therapy, um, therapeutic activities um, and equine assisted learning activities for both individuals and groups. Um, we are lucky enough to be running a, an amazing project with Macmillan um, and looking at the effects of equine assisted therapy and people recovering from cancer. We're about to start working with groups of people to help them return to work and we do everything that we do based on exercises with the horses. So what they pick up from us and what we can learn from them and using them as metaphors and um, objects and tools within exercises really. Our horses are all kept completely naturally. Um, they live out all year round, have lots of natural shelter and they even have a pond in the field that they can play in and drink out of. Um, but they have free roam of the barn now this barn also means that if it's absolutely chucking it down, we've got somewhere we can go inside to do sessions, which is great. Oh, look at that. And as if by magic, here are our three X-race horses. And Kieran. And you're just grooming. Excellent, guys. Well done. This is Trevor. He is the reason everything started. So um, he, I had him originally before I started any of this. And then when I wasn't very well, he got me through it. So his race name is True Lover. He's the only one that was ever any good. He, I think he was born in Germany and he came from over from France when he was about 11 and carried on racing here for a little bit. Um, apparently won the Norwegian Grand National in his day. Who knew? Uh, but he's an old man now and a bit knackered. He's got a bit of a knackered leg. I just think they're so honest and genuine and hardworking. All of our horses are actually warm-blooded, apart from Foxy, the little Shetland. Um, and what that means is they're so much more susceptible to our emotions. Um, they pick up a lot more, they react a lot more. But what that means is when you work with people on an emotional level, they're a lot more sensitive. Individually, I think Kieran, he's completely changed, which is amazing to see. If his mum was here, you'd, you'd, she would tell you that. She's just like, you've transformed my son. And that was amazing. I started coming to Spirit and Soul in late September of 2017 because I was having like, lots of issues around school, my anxiety, my temper, stuff like that. And ever since I've been, like from then to now, everything's just calmed down, it's all been fine and I'm a lot more chilled, I'm more social definitely, I'm doing a lot more, I'm more active. I, I have a lot of fun when I'm here. So I guess with illnesses, I guess what I 
understanding what I learn is that yes okay there's reasons as to why you've maybe got that but actually a lot of how you cope with it is your mindset and and emotionally how you cope with it um, so what I guess my experience was that actually the more that I felt that I would be fine and everything would be okay then I was um, and actually it's ridiculous but I'm incredibly grateful for having that because it's changed everything about me and my life and everything like that and I don't think anyone ever says they're grateful for having cancer and I actually really was um, but my I was so upbeat and happy and positive and planning for the future and I do a hundred percent attribute that to having horses and starting to develop what we do here now.